Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness from Breast Cancer Answers. You know, here at Breast Cancer Answers, we get said all sorts of interesting questions. Let me read this one to you. Dr. Harness, are there any drugs alternative to anti-estrogen therapy that have the same effect? Well, before answering that question, let me first of all take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their physicians whether to end or extend anti-estrogen therapy after five years. In my line of work, there are no perfect solutions. And this is particularly true when it comes to the subject of anti-estrogen therapy. For premenopausal women, we have tamoxifen, which is basically blocking estrogen receptors from reacting with uh, estrogen and progesterone. And then we have the aromatase inhibitors, which are attempting to turn off the production uh, if you will, of, uh, of estrogen. And so besides those two categories, we really don't have a whole lot else to offer except to suppress the ovaries with drugs, let's say, like Lupron, which turn off the production of estrogen at the ovary level, uh, or we can remove the ovaries surgically. There's another option. Now, having just said that, Indeed, some newer drugs have been out uh, for, unfortunately, just stage four breast cancer. One is Phospholidex, which is an injection taken uh, once a month, which uh, the concept there is to destroy estrogen receptors, but it is limited in use to not only stage four uh, breast cancer patients, but also uh, basically to postmenopausal women. It works, and it works well. The other and really exciting and newer drug is a mouthful to pronounce. It's palbosiplib, P-A-L-B-O-C-I-C-L-I-B. Now, this is sort of a newer category, if you will, of a CDK uh, inhibitor, which I won't get into how all of the mechanisms work, but basically, palbosidib is trying to turn off some of the reactions necessary for cells, cancer cells to function normally. It can be used in pre- and postmenopausal women, and it can be combined with things like ovarian suppression, as an example, with Lupron. Again, right now, this drug is limited to women with stage 4 metastatic estrogen receptor positive breast cancers. What we need are drugs like these categories of drugs that we can use in the anti-hormone world, but to use it with in situ breast cancer, which is stage zero, or adjuvantly in stage one, two, or three uh, breast cancers. I think those drugs will be developed in the next few years, and I think a drug like palbosiblib is sort of the leading edge of hopefully where we're going to go. Remember, one of the basic concepts in estrogen receptor positive cancers is to turn off estrogen. We know that anti-estrogen therapy works. It's just that the side effects can be really difficult for lots of patients. Well, that's sort of a complex answer. I hope it provides the person that sent the question in with some sufficient information. And as I wrap this video up, let me take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, to find out more about your treatment options beyond year five. Just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your physician.